my <laughs> our house is just filled with masks everywhere. You open the cupboard masks, you open the troll masks. Um, but because my skin is actually really dry, so um, if you just put moisturizer alone, mm -hmm. it's actually really not enough, and I try to mask as frequently as possible. Um, previously, I actually heard people telling me like, oh, you should only mask once a week. If not, you know your skin will get really oily. Yep. But I think you really gotta see what is your skin type because for me, I can literally mask every day and it will still be like just nice. Mm. So the moment I stop masking, uh, my skin actually loses moisture very quickly. And that's why sleeping mask is so cool because if you use a sheet mask, which I use as well, or maybe you use the kind that you slather on and then you have to wash off, um, that can be a little bit inconvenient because sometimes I just fall asleep like with a mask on my face and I'm just like, the next day when I try to peel off the sheet mask, it's, very dry. it's like ripping your skin off. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sleeping mask is actually really, really cool. and. Um, People always advise you to actually put the sleeping mask on 30 minutes before you go to bed. Sometimes you put it on and you're just like, okay, I'm gonna sleep now. And then you turn and the pillow is just all filled with, you know, the mask that you just put on. Yep. I'm guilty of that because I wake up and I see my pillow and I'm just like, uh. So you put it on 30 minutes before you go to bed. You know, just if you're watching TV, just after you come out your shower, put on your toner, your serum, your moisturizer. You still need all your basic skincare steps. So um, here's another myth. People think that if you put on your mask, you don't need other steps of the skincare because it's more than enough. I found out. You must put toner before you put the sleeping mask. Yeah. Don't ask me how I know. I just know. Oh. Yeah, I just read it. it. Yeah, I just read it somewhere. Yeah, I didn't put toner before I put a mask. I then actually, I put it on. Yeah. I actually got advice from a, a professional makeup artist, and uh, she said especially if you always put on long hours of makeup. Yep, yep. If you work in the office, maybe you stay in the air conditioner, uh, the air conditioning. Yep. All the time, you should put on your toner, your serum, your moisturizer, whatever else you want, and then you put on your sleeping mask. Yep. So you actually seal all those layers under the sleeping mask, and the next morning, it will kind of be equivalent to instead of getting like five, if you only get five hours of sleep, your skin will have gotten like eight hours of sleep. Mm. So that's actually a pretty helpful tip. So that's actually my skincare step at night that I will cleanse. If I feel like it's very dirty, I'll cleanse again. <laughs> and then I'll put on my toner, um, serum, moisturizer, moisturizer and then a uh, sleeping mask nowadays yep. because it's so much more convenient. Yeah. Okay, next up. Do you already use sleeping masks? I think we have kind of answered that question. Yeah. But uh, what do you actually think about sleeping masks in general? Like, do you think it's more convenient or is, you know, because you sleep and then okay, you Okay, I, I feel that like sleeping mask is very convenient, especially when you're traveling. Because I've been traveling for the past uh, uh, first half of the year, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah we... the first half of the year I had no boyfriend, guys. He was just <laughs> nowhere. Yeah, so, so I was in uh, like I went to Beijing, I went to like Australia and stuff. So, uh, and I, the the places that I went had very very dry and very uh, it's very cold. You know, you know, uh, Australia is cold. And I went to the US it was hot. So the the weather changes so much. But sleeping mask. Uh, it's, it's really uh, essential when you travel with you. Like you don't want to bring like stacks of facial, like sheets of masks. So you just bring one, one just little one, bottle. Yeah, one little bottle of sleeping mask and it helps really. Uh, yeah, I actually have a travel tip. So if you're going to be you know, flying frequently or even if it's not frequently, if you're yep. going on a long flight, right? Um, people always say you have to put on a bit more moisturizer because you know, your skin gets really dehydrated on the plane. Guys, it's not enough. So what I actually do, because each bottle of sleeping mask, I think it's about 50 ml only which yep. obviously is under 100, you can bring it onto the plane with you and just as you sit down, buckle up and you're ready to like just chill out or maybe even go to sleep, you can apply a thin layer of the mask and go to bed. Afterwards, when you wake up and if you feel like, you know, it's a bit too greasy for you, you can go off to the toilet and like, you know, clean yep. it down. But, uh, it. Yeah, but before you actually go and take a nap, you should always apply the mask and when you get off that flight, you're still going to look like radiant, I mm. promise you. It's so, so useful. Okay, um, what products do you like to use from Amore Pacific Group? So any of the six brands, which is your favorite? Uh, recently, thanks to you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, this is Mamon Sunsik there that we use quite often. Hey, in... that's my favorite product, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, so if you all don't already know, right, Mamon has this uh, Sunsik, which is uh, a yeah. sunblock. And, and it's really convenient, it's like, um, it's like a lip balm. So instead of putting it on your lips, you just apply it on your face. So we just came in from a, about a three weeks trip in the US yeah. and it's really hot. Like we went to Vegas and that valley was 
46 degrees. Yeah, I'm, I'm about three shades darker yeah, now. Yeah, no joke. So, every other hour, 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 I'll just take a sun sink and just like... <laughs> everywhere. And it's quite fun because you don't feel... It's, it's not greasy. Yeah, it's really, it's, really not greasy. It doesn't feel like you're applying anything on your face, but... Uh, after like t two weeks, uh, I can see the difference because my face and my, my, my hands are like totally different colors. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, sunblock is so important. I used to not believe in it. I always thought like yeah. sunblock was just like, ah, one of those things that people say you need, but it's really just extra money, okay? Mm -hmm. But when you start to use sunblock consistently, that means every single day, it doesn't matter whether or not the sun has risen, because we're talking about UV rays. Yeah. It, oh, it's perpetually in our atmosphere, okay? So even if you are in the office, you're indoors all the time, I always say your skincare routine in the morning should be a um, toner, serum, moisturizer, sunblock. and then sunblock. You have to put on sunblock. And there is another myth about sunblock. Mm -hmm. So people always, when I was younger, my mother always goes to like Watson's, and then she'll buy sunblock that only has like 140 plus plus and above yep. SPF. Um, anything above 50 is... is Kind of the max, right? yeah, yes. Um, yeah, so the, the thing about somehow is not, you know, how big the number is, but how frequently you apply it. Yep. Because um, it actually loses it is, its effect in about four hours. So if you already have a layer of sunblock, you're thinking, okay, I can, like, you know, take on the day and go to Sentosa for like the entire day, you actually have to keep reapplying. Because that's uh, when it actually really starts to, you know, protect your skin. And you will see that your skin becomes brighter and uh, a lot more flawless with sunblock. So, it's quite a miracle. Okay, last question. Okay. Uh, Why are you asking me all the question? Can I ask you one question? Oh, okay. I feel very late. She asked me to ask you the question. Yeah, oh, wait, wait. Yeah. I have something to tell you all, by the way, um, about the Mamon Sunstick. Because people keep Instagramming and like telling me about the Sunstick. I don't know why. Okay. Um, someone told me that they don't even have it at Taka anymore, which is where the Mamon store actually is. But they have a pop-up at Vivo. Okay, go and buy this. Left for a few. Okay, bye. Hey, it's not a question. Uh. What is this? Nothing. It says, uh, alright, enough about us. We have a couple of things to do with Eric Rangel. I didn't even get to ask you a question. Okay, okay, I'll open the question so you can ask me anything related <laughs> to beauty products. Actually, I don't know. I just wanted to ask you something. It feels like I'm like the, the special guest. You're right? the special guest. I, I just happen to walk past. They were, they in were a suit special guest green and with open. humanity. Okay, fine. But okay, let me just read this off. But first, we would like to invite a few special people up here for some photos. Okay, um, I think some of you guys have been grouped already, so we're gonna go with yeah, group yeah. one first. Uh, who are the people in group one? Okay, for the time, after this is gonna be prizes, okay? So all of you are gonna get a little something. Free mask for you. Can we like dish it out? Like, we just yeah. throw the mask that you'll catch. We just wanna be Oprah. Free mask for you, for you, for you. Anyways, um, to anybody who is upstairs, around the mall, you're here at ION today, it's us, Kim, as well as Shane. Yeah, you can tune in to us on the morning show, 987. It's uh, Gerald, Kim, and Shane. Only one of us works on 987, okay? The other one just pretends that he's on the table. Sometimes I am actually there just that I don't need to speak to you. Oh, okay, okay. You don't feel my face. Okay, um, yeah. group one, group one. Anybody from group one? Oh, oh yay! Hey. So, I actually know one person from Kuwa. <laughs> hey, stop trying to pull strings. Uh. I also come, know. Come, come to the front. Can I please invite everybody from Kuwa up onto the stage? Yay. So we can put those together.